Hi everyone, my name is Bhavna Dhaya, those of you who do not know uh, me. My work is as an intuitive expert, channel and a corporate trainer. I work with energies and intuition to heal people and to help them understand more about how they can heal themselves. So today I'm going to be sharing the October energy update. Uh, those of you who have been following our energy updates, you'll see that this one has a different flavor and I'll explain that. So I channeled this last night and uh, the messages were very clear. I will explain it uh, in a bit. So what I do is I channel them and I record them. And so I'm going to read exactly what I recorded. So here's the energy update for October. October is an interesting month. People are not really paying attention or at least most people are unable to see why October is a very significant month. First and second of October are special because it is a full moon for people who really want to manifest energies of October. This is a very strong time because in October it is starting with a full moon and it is ending with a full moon. It is almost as if October is cradling you to manifest and create your blueprint. And I just want to remind you that the full moon meditation that I do is on the 2nd of October, which is a Friday at 9 p.m. India time. That is 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, the event uh, is in on my page, so you can catch it there, which is on the FB page. I do all full moon meditations every month on my FB page, Tarring by Bhavna. So going further, the also the other message that I received was 2nd of October is also called World Peace Day or Mahatma Jayanti because it is the birthday of uh, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi and it is a very powerful day to make amends. So and making amends could be with anyone around you. It could be your parents, it could be your colleagues, it could be anybody who comes to your mind and they specifically said that do not look at how long or short the list is or if you're surprised by some of the names that are there on the list. Trust that the universe is giving you the right message. Trust your intuition and know that whoever is on the list, those are the people that you need to make amends with. And if you're unable to understand what amends and why is their name there, then again, go into meditation or go into just a kind of a sadhana or focused attention and just let the answer come to you. Okay, so 2nd of October is a very powerful day and that's why I'm doing a, the full moon meditation also because I will be talking about how you can make those amends. Moving on further, uh, you can make the month of October work for you only if you take on further steps from September. So as we know that September I had spoken about that it is more of going inside, reflecting, taking time out, working on the spiritual side, working on the inner work, inner work uh, world, right? And uh, it was also about releasing things that do no longer serve you or do not serve your growth anymore. So October is taking that one step ahead of that and October is about taking action based on the foundation that you've built in September. So it's like connecting with yourself. You know, you connect with yourself, you take action, you reconnect with yourself and again take action. And that's the cycle of um, October. And keep tweaking the action every time you reflect because it'll the energies and your intuition will tell you what you need to keep tweaking. Then don't be again, don't be surprised by what comes up. Uh, further, uh, what they said was after October 18th, the energies will again shift and they'll be moving towards a combination of masculine and feminine energies. Uh, you know, one of the messages that kept coming back to me was that people are not listening and people are not listening to how they need to really bring that change in their life and they need to bring the change in the kind of diet and how they need to nourish their body. So I'll come back to that later, but I do want to emphasize that almost in a span of half an hour, 45 minutes, I was told this message three to, uh, I think three or four times that people are not listening when we are not listening and we are not understanding that we need to make change, changes and every one of us, 
whether we are spiritual or not it doesn't matter but each one of us needs to take that step forward into connecting with our intuition connecting to our bodies and connecting to whatever we believe god collective consciousness whatever it is okay so coming back to october 18th october 18th onwards uh, there will be a moment where the, the energies will be more masculine and feminine so make a use of that time um moving on what they also said was that people have not understood the reason why the entire earth entire world is at a standstill they have not understood why this pandemic has happened and why this lockdown was necessary they do not realize that you have to take personal responsibility for it it doesn't matter with which country you are in it doesn't matter whether you are big or small but how you need to take personal responsibility for it and that is what and how you can take that personal responsibility is by taking care of your bodies how are you eating are you really nourishing your body are you using good ingredients are you eating the right uh, source of vegetables and fruits and diet um then there was some specific uh, guidance for the people in india that was given uh, people are not listening especially in india people in india need to raise the vibration for the whole of asia different countries are working on that they are working on raising the vibration of, of the collective world parts of india there is laos there is cambodia vietnam and there are a lot of advanced beings who are in cambodia indonesia especially bali parts of nepal burma parts of tibet and different parts of australia <coughs> then there were some specific uh, details that were shared about australia that there are a lot of women in australia who are on the ascension path and it is beautiful to see how the women in australia are able to understand this and they are taking steps and they're doing their best to move in that direction people who are going on the mystic path um are the ones who are leading and helping the ascension and there are also some young men in australia below the age of 27 there are a lot of the younger population especially in the men um the younger ones are part of that help and the work of the women in australia is very important because they are giving encouragement to these men who are being called to do the work then on in terms of the other parts of the world uh there are also a lot of people in different parts of the US especially Arizona and California Costa Rica Hawaii parts of UK Bath and Stonehenge in particular parts of Italy Spain and France parts of Turkey Egypt and Tanzania so the, there are and not that now i also want to say that it's not that the other countries do not have people there might be people but there are these groups uh, the concentration of people or um, not really people the concentration of the energies that are really helping raise the vibrations of the earth are in these places so it could be there are in some places there might be 10 people in some places there could just be three people who are equivalent but the energy that they are really using is very very high to help the collective raise the vibrations and get through this time the specific uh, piece of advice for the food for the people of india was to have start moving uh, india and also in general was to start moving away from meat and meat related diet to moving towards a more vegetarian even a vegan diet the idea is to eat fresh vegetables and fruits as much as possible even warmer foods so it, they should not be cold but fresh fruits and vegetables maybe that that are little warmed up stir fried whatever it is eat a lot of pulses boiled vegetables cooked vegetables uh, keeping the body light the idea is to keep the body light and uh, as i had mentioned so the idea also to really if there are certain foods that are local to a part of india then use those local foods eat those local foods so that that was the energy update this time and as you you can see the energy updates are shifting from the larger ones like in april may june they were more about what's happening happening in the lockdown what are different countries doing and what you know uh, what 
people need to do at a collective level then in july august september it was more started moving towards at the personal level that you need to take personal responsibility you need we need to get over ourselves we need to show ourselves those people who understand what their uh, what they need to do they need to show their you know they need to show up and uh, do the work for the rest of them and uh, so if i were to sum up the in three or four words what are the key takeaways for october how can we really make the best use of the energies of october i would say one is to the most important one is to really take personal responsibility of what has been happening on planet earth in this year and what that personal responsibility means that whatever you can do in your own life in people around you not even people around you but in your own life how congruent are you with yourself start with that the second thing keep your diet light as light as possible if you are just simply eating light fruits or vegetables or light pulses keep it as light even one meal a day if you can do that that is fantastic nothing is going to happen but keep your diet light and the third is to constantly listen and connect to your body because our bodies are telling us certain things they are giving us signals they are giving the communing with us so connect and listen to the body tune into the frequency of the body so that's it um some of the things that are coming up over the next few days that you can actually where i will be talking about what you can do uh to harness the energies of october is on 2nd of october i have the full moon meditation that is happening like i mentioned 9 pm india time 8:30 am pacific standard time uh, i'll be talking about manifestation i will be talking about how you can uh, also make amends with the people around you on 3rd of october i have the divine feminine webinar and you can uh, uh, I, i'll put the link here you can be part of the divine feminine webinar uh, there are a couple of workshops that are coming up the webinar is free all the webinars that i'm going to be doing are free there is a divine feminine workshop that will be happening in october and there's also one level above that which is the divine feminine intensive that will happen in october so if you are interested in any of these reach out to me and i can help you if you want to do personal one on one sessions relating to past life regression or you want to do one on one sessions related to healing reach out to me and i'll be happy to have a conversation till next time so much love to you bye bye